Hey everyone, welcome back to Great Northwest Weaponry. This is Thomas, and today we are doing something that I've been looking forward to for a long time, something that's also been requested a few times. We are starting versus videos. I'm very excited to be doing this. Uh, I've got a lot of ideas of different styles of versus videos to do. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the Smith & Wesson Model 1917 in 45 ACP versus the Webley Mark VI. This one's actually made by Enfield, but Webley Mark VI in 455 Webley. Our rules for doing versus videos is going to be fairly simple. They have to be related in some way. So uh, in the case of this, this is two revolvers that were used by the Entente forces in World War I and beyond, but primarily known for their use in World War I. Also, they both happen to be 45 caliber revolvers, and they're both double action. There's a lot of relations here, but it could also be something where two guns that maybe faced off against each other, two guns from the same era that didn't face off against each other, but what if they had? Uh, in, like I say, two guns maybe from the same side, from the same conflict, uh, guns that were maybe an evolution from one to the next, so like uh, an example, I don't have a Luger, but like Luger versus Walther P38 would be an example. Uh, and we'll be doing this with rifles. This particular style of verses that I'm going to do is going to be uh, kind of more of an accuracy test of the two of them in my hands. I, will li I would like to do videos like this in the future with a guest as well and have us both run both weapon platforms and see how that comes out. But in the case of this one, it's going to be just me. You're stuck with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I would also like to do running gun videos down the road. Uh, that would be particularly with rifles or rifle and pistol or revolver uh, for like combined arms courses. And again, the same rule would apply where there has to be some sort of relation. I will probably be doing videos like this with modern guns and vintage guns down the road. And the other rule for a versus video for me, for down the line, uh, a demo has to be has to have been made of the gun on my channel first. So both the Webley and Smith & Wesson have demos made. Both can be found in the pistol slash revolver demos uh, uh, playlist. So if you want to check those out, feel free. They're, I think, videos that came out pretty well. Both have uh, fared pretty well since being released. So yeah, let's go ahead and get some shooting done. All right, we're about 10 yards from the target. Got six rounds loaded. We're starting out with the Smith & Wesson, and if you can't tell, I might kind of be biased in which one I want to win, being an American wearing a Smith & Wesson shirt, but both are awesome guns, so let's go ahead and see how we do. All six of these are gonna be single action. go take a closer look at how I did. Not bad at all. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and call this inner ring 10, because you can see it's towards six, seven, eight, nine, so 10, and we're gonna call bullseyes 12. So we got one bullseye, it looks like, four in the 10 ring, starting right at the edge and working our way across like so, and one eight. So eight and 12, 20 plus 40, 60. Webley's got a lot to lot to beat there. Let's go ahead and repair the target and go again. With the damage done to the target, I decided against a vain attempt at repairing it and just put up a new one. So Webley is loaded. And here we go. Looks like it hit really far to the left with every shot. Let's go take a closer look. Definitely not as bad as I had initially thought, but definitely did not match up to the Smith & Wesson. So first hit was way to the left on the six ring. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five hits all in the nine ring. So five times nine, 45, plus six, 
51. That sounds right, 51. So 51 to 60. Not a terrible disparity, but I did in fact do better with the Smith & Wesson on this first round. Let's go ahead and move it up to five yards and do the double action single-handed round. All right, we've moved up to about five yards from the target on 1917. We're gonna do this all double action and fairly rapid. Here we go. Let's go check it out. Well, we hit it every time. Definitely not as concentrated as a group as it was last time where we just kind of had it all right in here. But uh, this target, by the way, is the target that we used in the last segment and it had been repaired. So we've got 10, 20, 29, uh, this would be 37, 45, and 51. All right, so double action with the on 1917, we're at 51. That is tied for the single action round with the uh, with the Webley. So now let's go ahead and see how the Webley does in this in this setting. Went ahead and swapped out the target because of how badly damaged the last one was. When I tried to repair it, it just kind of tore apart. So here we go. Five yards, rapid double action, single hand, Webley Mark Six. go take a look so I certainly did not do as well uh, started out good first two hits was 10 and 9 so 19 there and then we've got 7 7 6 and I think we had a miss hit maybe that it looks like it may be uh, right here but if you uh, go back and watch your segment, you can see a blast come out of the side of the tree and no hit on the target. So we've got a total 20 points over here, 7, 7, 14, and then 6, 20, and then 19, 10, 9. So we're at 39 points for this one, 39 to 51. All right, guys, now that it's all said and done, I am better with the Smith & Wesson. This does not necessarily mean that it is a better gun. Uh, I do believe with some practice I could be shooting at the same level with the Webley, especially if I was better at knowing where it hit. I've had the Webley for considerably less time. The final scores came out to first round 60 to 51 in the Smith & Wesson's favor, and then second round 51 to 39 again in the Smith & Wesson's favor. So we had a nine point disparity on the first round and a 12 point disparity on the second round so uh, and if I had hit all six shots on the second round with the Webley because I did have a miss it would have probably been a lot closer so yeah uh, let me know if you guys enjoy this type of video like I say I would love to do more stuff like this I would love to even do this one again later down the road if there is interest in seeing more of this versus I love both of these guns they're awesome classics that I think every collector should at least try and have one of each in their collection. And yeah, they, they were great guns, great service revolver, uh, a lot of history in both of them. Again, if you are interested in knowing more about each of these guns, check out the demos that I previously made. Uh, they are, again, uh, listed in the pistol and revolver demos playlist. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been Thomas, and I'll see you next time on Great Northwest Weaponry.